So let's look at a couple more example problems when dealing with the circumference of a circle. And remember the circumference formula, that if we call the circumference C, that's the length around a circle, this is equal to twice pi multiplied by the radius of the circle, where the radius, if we start at the center point, the radius is just the distance from the center point to the edge of the circle, so that's r. Or sometimes this formula is seen using the diameter, that the circumference is equal to pi multiplied by the diameter, where our diameter is just the length across the circle through that center point. So we can call this as d, that's our diameter. And of course pi is just the circle number, that is 3.14159, and it's gonna go on forever, it's an irrational number, it can't be written as a fraction, and it has this infinitely long decimal expansion that does not have a pattern. So we will usually just approximate pi as 3.14. So looking at this example problem, Suppose the radius of a circle is three units. What is its circumference? So we're told the radius value. We are told that R is three units. So when looking at our formula, we're gonna to wanna to use the version that deals with the radius here. And if we were told the diameter to start, we could use this version of the formula. And if we needed to convert between the two, we just need to remember that the diameter is really twice the radius. So sometimes you'll need to use that idea. But let's just plug in our number here that r is equal to three. So we can say that the circumference is twice pi and we're gonna use the approximation for pi, so 3.14 and we will multiply that by the radius, which is three. Two times three is six, so we get six multiplied by 3.14 and if you use a calculator, the circumference is equal to 18.84, and we don't have a specific unit, so we will just say 18.84 units. Now let's do one more example problem. And in this one, we're told a circle has a circumference of 153.86 units. And in this case, we need to figure out the radius. So it's essentially the reverse of the problem we just looked at. So let's write out our formula for the circumference in terms of the radius. So C is equal to two pi multiplied by R. And we'll use the approximate value for pi, that is 3.14. And we're told our circumference C is 153.86 units. So we're not specifying units, they're not meters or feet, it's just written generally. And we wanna figure out what our radius is. So remember the radius, the R value is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. And of course that will be the same length anytime you draw a line from the center to the edge of the circle. These are all radii of the circle. They're all equal to each other. So plugging this into our formula, we can solve this equation. We have 153.86 is equal to two multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by R. And we can simplify this twice pi or twice 3.14 is 6.28. And to solve this equation for R, we just need to divide each side by 6.28. So we're dealing with multiplication and we wanna get R by itself. So we do the opposite of multiplying to solve the equation, we use division. Since 6.28 divided by 6.28, that's just one. So we'll just get R on the right side. And when we use a calculator, this quotient here, 153.86 divided by 6.28 is equal to 24.5. So this is our radius, and again, this is 
units, since we're being very general here.